Ooh, welcome back. This is Sammy Chimunahihi Aliubi from the Eagle One Development Team. Uh, this is our 35th tutorial, and we're going to be taking a look today at S-curves, which is something that is uh, going to be built into interpolated bridging. And we've actually used this before, but I want to be able to make sure I explain the difference. Um, first of all, I need to expand my terrain a little bit. So I'm just going to go ahead, double click uh, with shift on the edges. So that way we can just go ahead and select it. And actually, we're just going to go in and expand this out. Let's expand this out about 128. Perfect. And um, that should be enough for us to go ahead and uh, begin to run our S curves. All right, so uh, here's what S curves are. I I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna first of all build a frame Okay, and um, <clears throat> I'm just going to use uh, you know some uh, easy to work with uh, angles right now, uh, just so that way we can go ahead and uh, illustrate our point. Um, when it comes to these S curves, uh, it a lot of what it determines how we're going to bridge things is the angle at which these bricks are uh, going to be uh, pointed. And so right now I'm just going ahead and uh, I'm uh, going to go through here. Let's uh, have. Uh, down uh, let's create a little bit more terrain just to expand out so I can demonstrate exactly what I mean by this so maybe about another 128 here uh, perfect and we can always go back and we can delete whatever terrain we don't want because they're nice and chunked up all right now I'm gonna imagine right now though uh, that we have an S curve down here and then let's go down here and then one more and then go through here. Okay, so um, have some fun with this. You know, I want you guys will, uh, I'm sure, come up with different uh, ways that you can uh, have some uh, creative uh, architecture. Uh, just for the sake of time right now, though, we are going to be uh, keeping it rather limited. And uh, I'm going to put this up one more. All right, and uh, I think uh, I think that's going to work out just nice. All right, so. Uh, for this portion of our uh, video, uh, let me just go ahead and show we've created this frame. Uh, we have now here a brick texture that's repeating itself. Uh, these angles, though, they don't, not, they don't look really appealing. Now, so I'm going to show you uh, something that we've actually been taught in the past, but I'm going to show you how we can use it a little differently. Here's what we've been taught in the past. If I take these two edges and I select both of them, okay, and I press Alt-B, we're going to have here a bridge. Okay, now this bridge, I want you to note, I'm going to just delete it for a second by undoing it, is a different setup from here. And let me show you what happens. I'm going to delete that face. Look at these two edges. These two edges, if they were to extend, would run into each other. So they're perpendicular. At some point, they're going to run in. These two edges right here are parallel to each other. They're running left to right. Now, what happens is when I create an interpolated bridge here, I'll press Alt B, because these are parallel, it's going to create an S curve. These two edges, because they are perpendicular, when I press Alt B, will create not an S curve, but it's going to go ahead and smooth out with that quarter angle. Uh, so we got to be able to understand when the engine is going to create these different curves. So as I went through, I went, I went ahead and created these at different angles. So let's uh, take a look here. Let's play a guessing game. I have these two angles right here. Okay, what kind of curve is it? Is it going to be a regular curve or an S curve? And uh, looking at them, if they intersect, Hey, absolutely, it's going to curve like this. Hey, uh, I can uh, be fancy and uh, continue to have some fun with this. I can take these two edges, same thing. Okay, look at the design. If they were to go through, would they ever intersect? Yes, they will. So if they intersect, it's going to curve in like this. Okay, so now we've got some uh, really interesting angles uh, that we can go ahead and uh, continue to work with. All right, uh, let's uh, go ahead and uh, let's delete these two. Well, let's select these two edges, same idea. Okay, notice that they uh, will uh, eventually intersect. So when I press Alt-B, okay, it's going to go ahead and curve it in this direction. All right, so uh, you got to be able to understand how these curves are going to work. You know, S-curves uh, are something that you can create, uh, but there's something that you can go ahead and design for as we continue to build around. And, uh, you know, if you really want to have some fun with this, you know, you can go ahead and, uh, you know, select these faces. Hold the middle lasso button. Okay, and you can uh, deselect that face that you don't want. And, and you can really create some interesting curves just, you know, using these edges. Maybe I want to select these two. 
I press Alt B and uh, now I can go ahead and smooth that out. I like that a little bit better. All right, and then let's do our last one right here. All right, I've got these two intersecting. Absolutely. All right, so uh, the ability for us to create these bridges, that's one facet of this. Now, I do want to make sure that uh, I, I thicken this out. So um, uh, let me just uh, go ahead. If I double click this, look at this. This is all one mesh, which is a problem because we're going to have to need to fix that. So I'm going to deselect that. I'm going to hold down Alt and I'm going to double click it. And it's going to show all these faces that I care about. I'm going to press Alt N, which is going to create a separate mesh. Okay, now in the face mode, uh, let's go ahead and let's, uh, with a grid of eight, uh, make sure we press G it's going to thicken it and now we fix thickened it and on the back side here uh, we do have some textures that aren't really uh, what we want I'm just going to go ahead here just quickly texture the parts that we do want and on the back side though we're going to do it a little differently okay back side I don't want to actually have the back side textured because we're going to assume player is not going to see the back side okay now the other thing is uh, the back side of this which is uh, not going to be seen by the player I'll do the top in a little bit uh, this back side I can hold down alt by the way and double click and it'll select all those back faces um, um, we can save some light maps. We do need to redo the viz on this. I do understand our viz is quite outdated. And so as we continue to uh, build um, into our uh, what is going to be our 3D skybox, because that's what we're eventually building into, uh, we're going to be redoing the viz. We're going to be redoing the skybox. Oop, I don't want to double click that, uh, which is going to allow us to see how viz uh, and all of these little details should now be calculated. Okay, notice that it's uh, disappeared because I have the editor only mode enabled. So when I press shift O, it shows what's the backside made out of. And uh, for the rest of these uh, brick textures, okay, I just go ahead, alt double click. Uh, let's make sure that we have uh, grid a line that's going to fix it and then if I really want I can just select these top faces hold down shift and uh, we'll just go ahead and change that into the trim layer all right uh, during this uh, tutorial I hope that uh, during these tutorials as you've been following along I hope that you've been adding some personal flair to your level so some of you if you've been following me religiously uh, there's gonna be points during this tutorial um, where I want you guys uh, to be able to uh, feel free uh, to add your own flair. You know, if you want to uh, add some uh, extra pipes and cables and whatnot, that's exactly the type of thing that I encourage. Um, and I wouldn't be discouraged from worrying about whether something's going to be drastically changed or not. Okay, let's do some just housekeeping here. Shift uh, V. Uh, let's uh, just paint everything. I uh, just want to go ahead and just quickly tidy this up. Okay, that way we have something that makes a little more sense here. There we go. And now what we have is uh, something that we can go ahead and work with, okay? Uh, let's uh, just lower this size, make that path, and then add back that grass foliage. All right, excellent. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. In our next tutorial, we're going to continue along uh, with uh, building eventually into what is going to be our 3D skybox.